Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial we will learn about how to use a solar cell or solar panel within the Tinkercad simulator. As Tinkercad is an online simulator, so we have to write Tinkercad in Google. So here it is and it will lead us to the www.tinkercad.com. So click on it. And now we will get our dashboard. You can see on right hand side you can see this create button. Click on it. And here we got our option that is circuits. So you need to click on it also. Now we can see that our main circuit window has been opened and now we have written solar. And it has given us this solar cell. So this is our solar cell. And uh, by, click on, by clicking on it, we can see that its peak voltage that it can give us is 5 volt. While its peak current is 100 milliampere. And uh, this current is enough for to light an LED. Okay, so this is our LED. We also need to take multimeter so that we can measure the current flowing through this, through this circuit. So we can go, we can connect the cathode pin of the LED with the negative terminal of the solar cell. And positive terminal that is anode. Actually, it is not positive, it is anode, anode terminal of the LED with the negative of the multimeter. Like this. And positive terminal of the multimeter must be with the positive of solar panel. So now we will start our simulation and here we can see that okay our our solar panel because we have connected the multimeter so obviously it is offering some resistance to the flowing current so we will not get okay so we we can go and we can write p current to 300 milliampere so now, okay, so sorry, sorry, it, it is ampere, you, you, we need to write, we need to select the ampere. So here we can see that whenever light intensity is less, and now we are increasing it. Now you can see that our LED has been on a little bit. Now its light is increasing as we are raising the magnitude of light intensity now it can even blast now it, it is going to blast okay so now this is 97.2 milliampere because led cannot tolerate a voltage of up to 4 or 3.9 so better is to uh, use a simple resistor that is current limiting resistor or we can reduce the voltage by decreasing the magnitude of the incident light so in this way we can use our solar cell within the tinker kit so hopefully you got the concept that how you can use the solar panel within the tinker kit environment so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe